Hello. Today I got the the new device which is called KT202. The manufacturer is saying this device it will support updates in future. I had a full version of KT200 with the offline dongle, but it's not really offline because uh, if you don't know, the offline dongle uh, at about 14 days, you need to reconnect online to renew the license. This is the instruction which I got from them. So I need to send an email to take pictures, send both serials, and of course to send also the old dongle ID to be to be changed. So uh, right now this device it's still not active. I sent uh, the email I think over 10 hours ago but no activation. I will add later in, uh, in video the part when I review the software. Now I really want to know what are the differences, except they are looking a little bit different. This is more heavy, more metallic. Looks a little bit nicer but let's proceed with uh, opening both of the devices okay okay i will get a screwdriver a bad one This is a good one. Okay, so this is the first edition of a KT200 device, it's looking like this, what I notice, also this one have uh, four LEDs, one, two, three, four. And are present but are not visible through the case now let's open the new hardware So I don't have any warranty sticks. Also the cover has been removed. Okay. The PCB are identical. Even the, the marking 3319-3319 marking of the components. I have a closer inspection. If I see really any changes. But no, 
the only difference I can see it's that uh, this firmware board which looks a little bit different but also this one uh, uh, su it's supporting firmware update through through their own software but i think it's a market strategy to to release pre-order a new board same thing and uh, <coughs> not release an update of firmware for the whole device Everything is the same, the same layout, the same components, the same markings, same position. Completely same design. Here are filled in, here are not. These four pads from the firmware board are a little bit different. It's new. I will assemble back because I still need to, to work with my old device until I will uh, receive an activation. Okay, now let me see. Now it's okay. Okay, after, after this one it will get activated, the old one it will be useless. I did not ask and don't know, for example, if you keep your old device and this one breaks, you can if you can return to the old device or not. That's, that's a good question. but from today on uh watch out on when from where you buy because a lot of people can sell this um, disable unit over the internet at a good price and you will pay but it will not work Assemble it back. This unit will work with all uh, old cables. So you don't need to buy a new one. The offline version, the dongle is the same. Well, technology is the same. The stick with software, it's looking a little bit different. Now they send the metallic one, which contains the software, the offline version, and this also is the previous one, the sand disk with offline version. Right now, if I connect to the computer, it 
if you'll turn around the green light I try to open the software the software doesn't open at all it doesn't say I'm missing activation or something it just don't open if I unplug it the software it will tell me I don't have the device connected good part the KT the previous KT200 and the KT200 too have different installation paths so you can install both softwares on the same computer and work with this one until it's getting activated okay how it will handle KT200 when it's deactivated when you try to open the software it's loading and of course it's not opening So this means your device it's not active or doesn't have a connection with the server. In my case, I know for sure the device it's not active. I unplug the old device. I connect the KT202. I will open online version. I did not test <coughs> the offline version so I open it it's taking a little bit uh, time until it's opening it's checking uh, for the authorization on the server side because I tried to open without activation and was not able to open but now should be opening in few seconds you need to wait so this is the first screen I always have it and then I click on uh, start KT 202 and this is the software but the software has been open so we have uh, Echo Help Tools now here D075 connected to OK firmware and also we have a software version. I will uh, go through the software to see what it's new. I will go to the tool boot. Looking like this. Clone service, I never tested it if it's working or not. And we have Aurix, we have this type of Motorola, the Renaissance, Mitsubishi, Hitaki, Fujitsu. And if I go to BDM Jetag. Only read. If we go to the bench mode, we can have uh, on the tools on bench mode. We have to test the bench box again, the clone service, and uh, extracting the password. If we go to Volkswagen, we have this one. 
this type of MGs MD and MG Benchbox V2 I don't know I hope we all have V2 We go to the gearbox, we have these brands. I never worked with the gearbox, but let's see the BMW. I think all the 8 HP. We have motorbike OBD. Boats. Truck. And car OBD. have CMOS 818182 Transporter T6 T-Rock S5 Full system we have all together The manuals are a little bit different This is the first page as you can see you can search by the brand or by ECU and the one let's see so we have how it's working I think the CS06 and I'm interested So it's telling us it's working on the bench but still we don't have a direct link to the manual so we if we need it we need to search it here insert and then select uh, what we will need for example Dacia MD1 I did not test any ECU. I will. Uh, I will do it in uh, near future with the first job when I have to to do an ECU and see the feedback how the version two it's working, if it's more stable or not than previous version. Anyway, thank you, and uh, if you like, please subscribe. Bye-bye.